was walking out this morning with rambling on my mind. I am going to catch that special, that train called Lonesome Line. You can hear the whistle blowing and she's coming down the line. That's the train I'll catch this morning to ease my trouble. Take me back to Texas, back to my old home. from the Hammonds family. Um, um, uh, when my dad uh, moved to West Virginia, one of the first people he met um, was a guy named uh, Currence Hammonds. He was a great banjo player and, and uh, singer and played a little fiddle. Um, and he, uh, he and his wife, Minty, um, sang uh, this song, um, which we've changed up a little bit, but pretty, pretty close, called Come All You Roving Gamblers. Whiskey has ruined my 
body. Pretty women are troubling my mind. You can dig me a hole in the meadow, dig a hole in the cold, cold ground. You can dig me a hole in the meadow and lay this poor gambler. for a few years and um, we'd go see the time jumpers play at the station inn and Emmy would always fall asleep and uh, I wrote this song always <laughs> you know I mean. solid percentage of the time <laughs> he always fails to mention that I was a full time grad student at the time and he was unemployed <laughs> <laughs> but I wrote at least one good song <laughs> Baby's not a night owl. She goes to bed by six or so. I can't take her out at night. She falls asleep at all the shows. My sweetheart's such a sleepy head. She just can't wait to jump in bed. And when she'll jump out again, nobody knows. I took her to a picture show, but she passed right out, you know. She couldn't even stay awake. For as long as the opening credits take I love her, but I'm lonely Waiting for my one and only I'll leave a note to phone me up If ever she should wait I took her out to see a band But it didn't go the way I planned She fell asleep right at the bar I had to carry her back to the car I love her, but I'm lonely Waiting for my one and only I'll leave a note to phone me up if ever she should wait. My baby's not a night owl. She goes to bed by six or so. I can't take her out at night. She falls asleep at all the shows. My sweetheart's such a sleepy head. She just can't wait to jump in bed. And when she'll jump out again, nobody knows. She took me home meet her folks and she told them all my dirty jokes she fell asleep right after lunch left me hanging out there with that whole bunch i love her but i'm lonely waiting for i want and only i'll leave a note to phone me up if ever she should wait i'll leave a note to phone me up if ever she should wait Well, uh, we're going to do one that I... So Jesse wrote that song for me, which is arguably sweet. <laughs> but this is the song I wrote for him when we got married. It's actually a love song. Mostly. <clears throat> um, and, uh, yep, we, we... I guess we, we were already married when we came here before, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got married. We were married. Now we have a little baby. Yeah, nice. Yep. She's not she's not here, but I'm really enjoying the babies that are back there. So yes. Um so let's see. Yeah, so this is a song I wrote for Jesse called I Got Lucky With You. <clears throat> trend is hardly ever high, and the most I've ever wanted cars was a seven dollar buy. Oh, you may ask if I regret these things, but I assure you I do not, because fortune only smiles on very few in this world. You can't expect it all to come to you in this world, so I
Um, okay, so we're going to do a song now uh, that Jesse's going to finger pick. He's got to get all warmed up and got the, you know, got to get the thing in the right place. Um, but it's one, it's a, a famous story of John Henry versus the steam drill. And uh, this is a version, I always forget where you got this version. Uh, I made it up. <laughs> there you go. It's hard to remember that. Here's John Henry. <laughs> Big Ben Tunnel on the c and line Well, it's gonna be the death of me, poor boy Yes, it's gonna be the death of me But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone Poor old John Henry's dead and gone Well, John Henry went up on the mountain And he looked up at the sky Well, the mountain was so tall And John Henry was so small that he lay down his hammer and he cried, cried, cried. He lay down his hammer and he cried. But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone. Poor old John Henry's dead and gone. I weighed 49 pounds from my hips on down And I love to make that cold steel ring Yes, I love to make that cold steel ring But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone Poor old John Henry's dead and gone Well, the captain, he said to John Henry It sounds like the mountain caving in John Henry said to the captain, he said that ain't nothing but my hammer sucking wind. He said, that ain't nothing but my hammer sucking wind. But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone. Poor old John Henry's dead and gone. steel 14 feet and steam drill it only drove nine John Henry lay down on the tunnel floor said a cool drink of water for I die poor boy just a cool drink of water for I die but poor old John Henry stayed in gone 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 poor old John Henry stayed in gone I didn't mention that when um, on that that song that I wrote for Jesse, I got lucky. It was kind of inspired by we were getting ready to get married, and and I was thinking about the wedding and thinking about what songs we might dance to, and all our favorite songs were just like the saddest country songs <laughs> about about divorce, like so many about divorce and heartache and drinking too much. So I I wrote that one so that we would have like at least a happy song at the wedding. Um, and, <clears throat> and so other people could potentially have a happy song at their wedding too, you know, public service too. Um, but so this is, this is an example. This is like maybe the saddest country song that I didn't know. And it's one of my favorite songs. So it's an example of the, what our typical fare is here. This is called Sad Situation. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I've known some sad situations before. I 
you now. I really appreciate someone saying, good job. Yeah. I appreciate that. That's really nice. Okay. Um, but Jesse's, you, this, he's going about to do a good job, we hope, <laughs> on this tune. This is a tune that I uh, learned mostly from Melvin Mine and a little bit from another fiddler named Ernie Carpenter. Um, and uh, it's called The Big Fish.
<laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> well, um, we're going to play a little tune. We're going to do that. that uh, Lehigh Way Blues, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, it's called the Lehigh Way Blues, or the Point Mountain Railroad Blues, or the Hometown Blues, or the Eastbound Highway Blues. <laughs> Some kind of blues. <laughs> this twisted around so like a spike. Ooh, okay, there we go. They're playing the fiddle. Wow. Yeah. Emily Miller. Yes, I'm Emily Miller. And um, we want to. We, we're going to play one more song. Do one more song. But uh, we want to say a big thank you to David and Ellen. Um, and for putting on this concert. Uh, wonderful to be part of the Deep End series, both concert yeah. series and CD series. And uh, thanks to David for lending us these beautiful guitars, yeah, too, for the evening. Um, it's wonderful. And They never sounded so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and thank you all so much for coming. And I hope that we hope a lot of you brought your instruments for jamming afterwards. And um, there's also uh, this beautiful dinner we get to share together. So thank you all so much for coming out with us. And I hope that we see you again down the road. Um, <laughs> Our last song? Yeah, um, sure. This is a, uh, a song, might, might be the first song I ever learned to sing. I, I sang it when I was a little kid and everybody thought it was real cute. Um, it's called uh, Come All You Revenueers or Booze Fighters. Uh, it's about West Virginia's uh, national beverage, uh, Moonshine. <laughs> you gotta teach Laura how to sing this song. Yeah, it'll be very, very, very cute. Very cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, come all you booze fighters if you wanna hear. 
about the kind of booze that we sell around here. It's made out of buckwheat, rye, and corn, and all bottled up in some old barn. Well, we don't give a damn for the Volstead law. And for prohibition, we don't care at all. It's made way back in the swamps and the hills, where there's plenty of moonshine still. And the lamb will lie down with the lion after drinking this old moonshine. <laughs> well, one drop will make a rabbit whip a bulldog. One drop will make a cat chase a wild hog. Make a bullfrog spit in a black snake's face and make a hard shell preacher fall from grace. And the lamb will lay down with the lion after drinking this old moonshine. Well, you tip up your head and you take a little drink. And then for a week you won't be able to think. And the next thing you know you'll be getting kind of tight. Out on the streets trying to raise a fight. So you tip up your head and you take a little more. And then for a month you'll be feeling kind of sore. And then you'll swear you won't drink it anymore. But you've said that a thousand times before. <laughs> and the lamb will lay down with the lion. After drinking this old moonshine. but we'll do we just we just discussed it back <laughs> and do you have to retune yeah that'll be quick he'll be very quick we'll we'll, we'll do a tune that jesse learned from the great john cephas wonderful uh singer and guitar player from virginia <clears throat> who jesse learned to play learned from took some guitar classes from at um the augusta heritage center which is in the town that we live in dave mentioned it before um used to teach at the Blues Week before he passed away. And, yes. What town is that? It's in Elkins, West Virginia. It's, it's the town that we live in, or the town, the, it's the biggest town it's close to where. It's we buy our groceries. That's true. <laughs> and uh, you guys should all come and hang out. I'll be... They have good restaurants there. Restaurants? Yeah, yeah, they have, you, you know, <laughs> I know, it's like, you got to tell me where the good restaurants are. Um, How many fiddlers live in Elkins? Oh, well, a lot, a lot, a lot of fiddlers, there's about, it's a population of about 7,000, um, and there's like, uh, we, we, we counted like 25 fiddlers who you could like call to play a square dance. Yeah, and then it's like probably 50 or so, you know, who can play at least. C countless fiddlers who, you know. Can play a tune on the fiddle, yeah. A lot of fiddlers. I'm going down to Brownsville, take that right hand. I'm going down to Brownsville, take that right hand. I won't stop walking till I bring my baby home. You know that I love that long and curly hair. You know that I love that long and curly hair. But her mom.
plaster for collard shoes. Give me turnip green. When I ask her for collard she give me turnip green. When I ask for water she give me kerosene. Well, I knew she didn't love me when she lay down on my bed. I knew she didn't love me when she lay down on I could smell white lightning all around her head. Going down, 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 going down and down and down. Going down, 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 going down and down and down. I'm just a little crazy about to lose my mind. Well, I'm going down to Brownsville. Take that right hand. Baby home. Well, I won't stop walking till I bring my baby home. No, I won't stop walking till I bring my baby home.